Kevin Durant, I'm sad for you, bro. You're all alone. You have no help. And more importantly than anything else, you made the wrong decision by going to Brooklyn. And I'm not talking about this as a Knicks fan. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this as New York, because I'm Knicks first swagoo, but New York always. Knicks first, New York always. Mm -hmm. I'm always rooting for New York, and I'll always root for Brooklyn, with the exception of when they go against the Knicks. Kevin Durant made the wrong decision by going to the New York Knicks, and he's going to rue the day that he did that. And let's, let's analyze why that is. Because you got a guy in James Harden, not first year. This is the second year in a row. Mad love for James Harden. You got to get your act together, bro. You ain't James Harden right now. Averaging 19 points a game. You sitting there struggling from the field. You had 24 points last night. It's the meaningless, most meaningless 24 points that I've ever seen from the career of James Harden. You are a superstar, and you are not looking like one. It is that simple. You got to get it together. KD, you made the wrong decision, bro. And here's why. Because you trusted Kyrie. Kyrie Irving betrayed you, flat out betrayed you, left you hanging. And while you sitting up there getting your ass kicked last night, all right, Steph Curry sitting there shimmying and joking around, laughing on the court. They were cheering for Steph Curry in Brooklyn from opening tap. They were chanting MVP in the Barclays Center, and it wasn't for the dude averaging 28.9 points a game for the Brooklyn Nets. It was for Steph Curry. And then you juxtapose Steph Curry compared to Kyrie Irving, and what do you have? You got Kyrie Irving, who is a showstopper. Kyrie Irving, who is a superstar talent. He is box office and can't be trusted. I actually hope Kyrie Irving gets cut. I mean, this, this, this is a disgrace. To sit up there and watch this team last night look like straight garbage. And every respectable team that you go against, you lost to Chicago by double digits. You got spanked last night by Golden State by double digits. You lost to the Charlotte Hornets by double digits. You got spanked on opening night by double digits against Milwaukee. Every respectable team you go up against waxes y'all behind. And why? Because KD don't have no help. You left there all along. You ain't got a culture. You don't even have a damn fan base. Brooklyn, stand up. I don't want to hear that nonsense again. Brooklyn, the borough of Brooklyn, should be ashamed of yourself. The only, did good, the only damn thing good about the Barclays Center are the concession workers and the people handling the traffic in and out of the arena like my boy Tony and Jose and the crew. Those are the only decent things about the Barclays Center. It's just dead. You walk up in there, there's no fan base to gravitate towards. There's no momentum. There's no fervor. There's no passion. Nothing. I'm showing more passion in this studio by my damn self than 17,700 plus showed at the Barclay Center for the Brooklyn Nets last night. KD shouldn't even want to be there. He shouldn't even be wasting his services being there.